This simple and easy to use setup demonstrates the electrolysis of water. The non-conductive support holds two test tubes that straddles a beaker. The platinum electrodes are attached to insulating connecting rods with mounting posts. You will also need some other materials to perform this experiment. You'll need a DC power supply that can do 6 to 10 volts, a water additive such as 5% sulfuric acid or just salt. You will also need a small beaker to fill the test tubes with water and maybe an additional tray to place under the beaker as you first set up the experiment. As with any experiment, always practice safe laboratory procedures and include goggles and gloves. Once you make your solution, fill it up to about the 800 milliliter level, but also reserve a little bit out so you can fill the two test tubes. With the apparatus upside down, pull the test tubes down and fill each one with the solution. You want to make sure that the electrode is right above the test tube so when you invert this and push the test tube down the electrode fits right into the test tube. Now we're only using salt water so I'm not going to use gloves but you just plug the test tubes and invert it into the, your solution. I'm going to pinch this to hold the test tube a little firmer so it doesn't move down when I put my fingers over the end. Before you start the experiment, make sure you push the test tubes down over the electrodes. Now that we're set up, we connect the power supply to the terminals at the top. Depending on how good of a job you did, just make a note of the initial air bubbles that are in the test tube. You can take a grease pencil and mark it or a small piece of tape, but just know where your starting point is. Now we've turned it on and we immediately see bubbles forming on the left hand side. Here is the result after about 60 minutes of runtime.